everybody, this is Debbie again with Rustic Stuff of the South. Thanks for joining me. This should probably be tutorial number three on painting this little chest. I'm going to show you today about painting the hardware. You don't have to take it off, you can just paint right over it. That's the beauty about chalk paint. So what I'm going to do now, as you can see, I've painted one coat on this. Oh, get those little drips because sometimes you kind of have fun with the chalk paint. But I'm just going to paint right over this. I have actually have my paint can in the drawer. I have it on a napkin, but if it's spilt, that's no big deal because this is all water cleanup. So the fun thing about is when you go to clean your hands, it will come right off. And once again, I use a chalk paint brush. And you can go online and look up uh, chalk paint brushes. You don't necessarily have to buy the Annie Sloan brushes. I do just because when I'm getting my paints, that's what the retailer has. But um, there are several online places that you can um, buy chalk paint brushes. But once again, you can also use a chip brush. You can use those small brushes from Home Depot that have the flexible edges. I like that when you really need to get into some small intricate places. But this hardware is going to be absolutely beautiful when I finish. And what I like about this brush is I can just take and just get into these small places. I need to lift this up, but I'm not real worried about my hands. I'm not real worried about it getting on my skin because with the water, it's just going to wash right off my skin with soap and water. And that's as easy as it is. This has one coat on it. It takes about an hour to dry, so in an hour, I'll be ready to come back and put another coat on it. By the end of the day, I'll be done with this piece. And it will be ready to go in a bedroom, and it will be ready to go. If you're painting it for a client, you can tell your client to pick it up tomorrow. Or if you're putting it in your bedroom, they'll be ready to put items in in the morning. Thank you, and you'll have a great day. Check my blog, Rustic Stuff of the South by Debbie. Thanks.